synthetic okay so this gorgeous unit that i have on my head is from outre her name is kamani and i have her in the color sandstone blonde outre was in a bag when they made this wig because not only do you have highlights you have dark roots and it's ash blonde like what more do you want what more do you want from this wig okay like outre take my money this color chef's kiss okay but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this wig review Okay, so this is how the wig looks like straight out of the package. And I did go in off camera and curl some of the pieces just to make the ends look a little more better. So now taking my dry shampoo, I'm gonna be spraying that at the top just to take away some of the shininess that this wig kinda has. And now going in with my hot comb, I'm gonna be pressing out the frontal space. And this frontal space is a little bit pre-plucked, which I like that about it. But I am gonna be going in and plucking some of the um, part out just to make it more realistic and open up the part. And be mindful when you are plucking this unit to be a little more gentle because I did pluck a hole in the front and afterwards I just stopped because I was like, I just give up. Uh, so just be mindful on that and try not to pluck too hard when you are working with this unit. Taking my hot comb once again, I'm just going in, just making sure everything looks flat. And be careful not to use too much heat because this is synthetic and you don't want to actually burn the wig. And this wig, it is safe up to 400 degrees. like on my head um i'm about to just do my baby hairs and off camera all i did was put a hot comb to the top part and section out my baby hairs and cut the lace off as y'all seen um i did go in and tint the lace because it's really really light like it's really light so i just went in with um, a brown powder and just tinted up the lace and put some powder in the part and i think i showed it on camera i kind of opened up the part because it was too close to me and i like my synthetic wigs to look as realistic as possible and that's what we're going to try to do yeah, i just cut some baby hairs and i'm about to just use my mousse i didn't glue anything down because i don't glue uh, my wigs down i tried that one time and just didn't turn it right so i'm gonna take my mousse and my little edge brush and make some baby hairs and bring y'all in close so y'all can see what I'm about to do. So let's go ahead and get right into the specs of this unit. This is Outre's Kamani wig and I have her in the color Sandstone Blonde. This is part of their blonde collection so they do have other colors. Um, they do have some the, the regular 1Bs and 613s and the rest are just their blonde series colors which is on the back right here. This color I mean 10 out of 10 like it has highlights in it and it has dark roots not only in the front but it also has it throughout the wig and that I love 
So that is my biggest pro with this unit is the color. The color is 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. And I will buy this one again. Yeah, all my black women out there, trust me, this color's gonna look good, okay, on you. It's not too yellow and it's not too blonde. Um, I just think it's the perfect ash blonde and I've just been trying to find an ash blonde wig for a long time. So I purchased this wig with my own money. I ordered it from Wig Types and this wig retails for like $38. And I think that's really affordable, I'm not gonna lie, because some wigs, they be, they be pushing it, but this wig is like $38 and it does have a $4 of charge because of this customized color that it has. Another pro that I love about this wig is the frontal, the hairline of this unit. I love easy go hair lines like it's not doing too much i don't have to do anything about to this wig it's just put it on if you want to you know spray it down with some glue you can do so but if you're like me who just want to use some mousse and gel it down it's really simple on the hairline didn't have to do too much in it i just did go in with the hot comb because i like my units to be flat and i like it to look realistic the same stuff that i do for my human hair wigs the same thing that i do for my synthetic wigs like i've been wearing synthetic wigs since high school so Playing with synthetic wigs is nothing new for me. Um, this wig, it is a left side part, so on my right side of girls, even like myself, it is on the left side, but it's okay because it still looks good. So this wig does have the standard constructions with your wig combs and your adjustable straps in the back. This wig is big head friendly. I do have a 23 inch circumference head, so I have a big head, and it fits really well, and I do have space in the back as well, so it is big hair friendly so the texture of this wig it is more so on the silky side even though i do feel like it has some yakky texture in it like a soft yakky it is on the silky side silky textures they tend to matte on the ends so be aware that your ends may start um getting you know matted in all that stuff so be mindful of that it is synthetic it's not hairs it's fibers so just keep like a wig brush in your purse or something like that if you are tending to wear this wig out or just run a flat iron through the ends and curl it that's what i do with my synthetic wigs this wig it looks really good on the chocolate brown skin girls like it just looks so good uh, let me spin around so i can see how long this wig is so this wig does come down to about like right here this is my belly button so y'all can use that as a reference i am 5'10 so it is a long unit let me spin around y'all can see how this wig looks like <laughs> gonna get some tangling and the ends may uh, start matting up really fast but like i said get yourself a wig brush get yourself a flat iron and you'll be okay you'll be ready to go i have really nothing else to say about this wig except that the lace was too light and um that's pretty much it because i've been wearing this wig since february and like i said it's april and it still looks good so hey go get this wig like go get go get this wig for real if you have any questions that i did not answer in this video leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to click that like button and share with your friends okay, summertime is approaching and i mean pop it with a new color but anywho so i'll see y'all in the next video